What's well, to be Capital G here got a nice set of duels involving Phantasm Spirals. Really cool archetype. I think that a couple of things happened with Phantasm Spirals that really turned people off to them and why you didn't see a lot of people really playing. And I don't think it's because the archetype is terrible, although it is very, very reliant on the field spell. Like probably, probably more reliant than any other deck that I can honestly think of in the game. But uh, number one, uh, it was just poor timing uh, when the deck came came out coming out in maximum crisis it was just bound to get like outshined by um the true draco archetype which is just far better and then on top of that uh, you also had like it just you know it coming out at a time where Zodiac was just the shit and arguably tier zero so that didn't really help either and then um, just the fact that Magic Bullets an archetype that less than six months after its release is basically the same thing just better like really this deck was kind of power creeped immediately by the creation of Magical Musketeers so that really isn't good Magical Musketeers are basically just a better version of uh, the Phantasm Spirals but doesn't mean they can't do cool things doesn't mean that they still can't have some awesome duels let's go ahead and roll this i believe he's running he's running um kind of like a dinosaur variant where i wouldn't run caboozles but you know hey that's just me he does go neg one unfortunately but at least he got the heat wave that's pretty cool uh card of demise man people gotta watch out with card of demise that card can sometimes like seriously backfire if you need to like special summon and stuff like that but it's fine because he has pacifis on the field so not only is pacifis going to get him a token but it's going to get him a search as well if you're wondering why pendulum magicians are setting a monster it's because obviously he cannot normal summon he can't special summon effect monsters and pendulum magicians is nothing but effect monsters so he basically just has to try and wall up here and uh, one of the things about the spiral deck one of its achilles heels is if you can get pacifist off the field that deck can really struggle but he's playing metaverse and i actually agree with that i think metaverse is probably a better call right now than terraforming in this deck especially if you're running demise and maybe part of duality so he has to kind of weather the storm and he does have the phantasm spiral power but against pendulum magicians i don't think this card's all that good i'd rather have battle to be honest i'd rather just have my regeki break be able to pop a card instantly than have you know essentially a phoenix chain so he is going to get another token now he he does get battle which i think is a far better card now he summoned akishik magician and pendulum magicians i didn't even know they ran that card i don't see why <laughs> like it, it mainly is just a card that you know abuses grinder golem but whatever uh anyways i believe he's going to summon the astrograph sorcerer that he just uh searched which he does that's going to get him a surge and i believe he might just go to battle phase after making star time star time's going to star time's going to get hit with that power he goes in the battle phase but he forgot about the search he forgot about power now the cool thing is he does have the two tokens he top decks a copy of ash forehead and this is generally not a thing you want to do i think that this guy didn't really know how to deal with um the uh, the spiral deck like he he blew up the token the problem is when you blow up the token now the pacifist can activate if you activate any effect so while he's activating the search of pendulum graph of ages pacifist is jumping in and saying oh okay you're activating an effect i'm gonna get this guy a token and when he gets that token i'm then going to get him a search so he would have just done better letting the token run over his monster because now he essentially gets two cards and uh, that equip spell is very real and he can equip it during the battle phase by banishing his traps so he he completely lost he he like completely lost control of this duel by one big mistake he was much better off just letting him have the token and now you see he's nowhere close to having his scales he has two essentially dead cards on the field now he can't actually use uh what's it called here he can't use um the space time there but he ends up losing out to ash forehead um he was going to use ash forehead on the pendulum graph of ages so that he doesn't search and at that point losing his card to the 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 pendulum graph space time losing it to its scrap dragon effect isn't really that big of a deal because he does he no longer needs uh pacifist at this point when you know his opponent only has 2500 life points and no monsters so you guys will see some misplays in these duels so like try not to get triggered <laughs> i just watched all three of them and i was like there's a misplay there's a misplay there's 
has a misplay button. It's fine. Not everything has to be super high tier competitive. All right. This one is against Light Sworn. Light Sworn is going to open really good, by the way, too. Uh, he gets Brilliant Fusion. That's going to net him uh, basically like a free Trick Clown. He goes for Mrs. Radiant. He's able to make Minerva. Uh, Minerva gets Fairy Tale Snow in the graveyard, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there's a Fairy Tale Snow. And he has a bunch of cards in the graveyard. So I believe Fairy Tale Snow can be activated immediately. Keep in mind, he can also use the Brilliant Fusion on the field. So he doesn't really need that anymore. And I think that this is. Um like ideally this is the kind of matchup that you want if you're playing uh like phantasm spirals if your opponent goes first and they just make two big monsters on the field and neither one of those can like stop any of your plays that's like that's, that's your bread and butter man you're like thank god i can just activate pacifist i can search i can do whatever i want the fairy tale snow is mildly annoying but he has two copies of power in his hand so like as soon as fairy tale snow jumps out there it's just gonna get phoenix chained he's gonna get a search and he's gonna get a token uh he is going to use the power to negate snow and at this point he's gonna lose probably every monster on his field including minerva and uh, minerva at least will you know he'll get the mill and he'll get a search back or he'll get the add a card back to his hand from uh mrs radiant actually he put the mrs radiant back i think he may have banished his earth monsters with the uh fairy tale snow that that, that was kind of unfortunate for him so he just puts the mrs radiant back now another mistake here is he activates the solar recharge i guess it's not a mistake he had to pretty much do it he activates the solar recharge but you know in doing that when he has no token he's basically just giving him a plus two like you you need to completely zone in on pacifist when you're playing against spiral phantasms now this was a really big questionable play and as soon as i saw this i was like nah this is this is a dumb play he summons goblinberg and he automatically uses phantasm spiral power so that goblinberg can't activate its effect but you have three big monsters on the field like i wouldn't care about Goblinberg because I'm trying to think of what Goblinberg can go into that I really care about so I feel like he just wasted it there and then he goes into Minerva he's going to use this effect he's going to use another power on Minerva and then he just gets blown out by Judgment Dragon like what <laughs> like that's what happens when you use your power so recklessly I was like what are you doing you need to save those things so now you're just getting beat down by a Judgment Dragon now luckily Judgment Dragon, uh, only he can't activate his effect anymore because he only has 850 life points. So, you know, no more Judgment Dragon pops. He summons Raiden. Probably should have summoned that first, but Raiden's mill effect does net him, uh, you know, a plus two. He goes for Fairy Tale Snow, but then Judgment Dragon gets blown up. I think he might go for an XC here. Yeah, he goes for Tornado Dragon, right? <laughs> he pops the, so he pops Pacifist, and then he chains the Metaverse to get another Pacifist, right? So I was like, oh, okay, I guess that's kind of interesting. Now, check this top deck. Yo, after his after his pacifist gets blown up he ends up topping a terraforming so i guess he plays both of them excuse me i said that uh metaverse was better than terraforming but he plays both and the ultimate uh the ultimate i guess push for victory comes when he just banishes the power he activates or he ban he uh, he equips one of his um his spiral battle uh his spiral equip cards from his graveyard straight onto his uh token so he actually wins with the token not even needing the terraforming but i thought that was pretty interesting and then the last duel I believe is against Jack Knights, and uh, I, th I think Jack Knights are definitively better than <laughs> Phantasms. <laughs> to be honest, I think Jack Knights are going to be an amazing deck. Like, I, I want those cards now. Once again, he opens with Heat Wave. But he does not open with a normal monster. And this can be one of the problems with uh with phantasms. If you go first and you open it with um you open with like uh heat wave, you are taking a net one. So if you don't get a if you don't get like a search from your Pacifist to kind of offset that neg one, then you're really in a bad spot. I mean your opponent won't be able to get to summon anything, but if you can't summon anything, then like what the fuck are you really doing? So, anyways, he has Fossil Dig, he gets Megalo Smasher X. He is going to attempt the normal summon, but he's gonna get blown out by Cosmic Psych clone so he ultimately misses out on his plus one there he activates another copy but he's not able to search from it because his megalo smasher x is already on the field so it just doesn't work that way you don't get a search and uh, also i don't know about ash forehead against uh jack knights but you never really know what you're playing against so he's gonna go for the akishi magician play that does net the uh, spiral guy a couple of cards because he's able to get himself a nice token he's gonna continue on with grinder golem and i think at this point he's gonna start summoning oh he goes for skull deep that that's going to get hit with the ash forehead because he was going to go for that draw effect but he can still special summon from his hand 
He goes Blue Knight, he goes Green Heights, and he goes Blue Sky. I don't really like Green Heights. I don't really think that you need that card, but it's fine. He's still able to just do um, a, a bunch of damage. He's able to get rid of just about every monster. Not quite the last one. Skull Deeds is going to drop, but it is still more than enough to kill every monster. And he goes into the Jack Knight Link monster, and I was like, okay, that's pretty interesting going into the Link monster. The cool thing about the Jack Knight Link monster is uh, the Jack Knight of World Remains the the like the the more cards you have on the field the weaker this card actually gets so when it's on the field by itself it's actually a very strong card and when i say the more cards like you essentially don't want this card with a bunch of like you don't want a car a bunch of cards linked up with it so when it's on the field kind of dolo it's actually like i think as powerful as it's going to get so he's going to attack just to get himself the uh the spiral phantasm battle that forces jack knights to discard a card from his hand did i say battle dragon i'm sorry yeah he he used that to get dragon he did summon i believe that was crimson lotus right yeah that's crimson lotus crimson lotus used its uh master hyperion effect to just basically uh nuke the dragon and at this point i think he's able to recover the game so check this out right oh my god talk about the perfect top deck <laughs> he sends his last he sends his last jack knight to the graveyard with the effect of the uh of the field spell the scars caused by the world legacy and then he gets the cosmic cyclone getting rid of the pacifus as i said before pacifus is the head of the snake in this deck and he's able to almost get rid of his monsters the token is protected but only temporarily the token is only uh it's only protected from the first time it would die by battle he's able to get another pacifist here but if he's smart all he'll have to do is just attack don't activate any effects that you don't need to and he should be able to kill him and that's exactly what he does people who play like if you've played against um spirals before or spiral phantasm i feel like i have to say that if you've played against spiral phantasms you don't want to activate any unnecessary effects because you don't want this card triggering you don't want them getting a token you're kind of giving them uh new life at that point so three duels i hope you guys enjoyed them i really believe that jack knights are going to become something very special i think that spirals will be uh severely hurt by the balance by the time these guys come out in extreme force and uh you know i'm just looking forward to them but anyways this video was about the spiral phantasm deck if you guys enjoyed the video please get a video a thumbs up thank you guys for watching as always and subscribe if you have not already also turn on those notifications for daily videos